This is the Chloe Cast, Episode 12, Important Channel Update. Hey there friends, I am Mike the Zorch, and today I have some important information to convey to you about what's been going on with the channel, why you haven't seen much in the way of new updates for Zort Central. Uh, I haven't even done that much for Gamers Bay either. I've been working on a lot of things. And uh, content will be coming back to the channel, and I'll be talking about that today. Uh, today's subjects are uh, things we've been I've been doing for Steam it, a new show that I am starting, which will not be on YouTube. Getting back to making videos here on Zort Central and Gamers Bay, and the return of the Elite Dangerous live stream. First up, let me talk about the article that I wrote for Steemit. Now, first off, Steemit is a social media network that pays content creators in the Steam cryptocurrency. That is S-T-E-E-M. And you upload content and they will pay you a certain amount in cryptocurrency. And if someone upvotes your content or you engage with the community and upvote other people that'll pay them and it'll pay you a certain percentage and the steam cryptocurrency is available on almost every exchange that accepts bitcoin so there are people out there who are actually making a good living posting content to steam it now i posted an article called the top 10 classic Atari arcade games and I used videos from the an old gamer plays series that I produced for gamers bay in the, as a part of the article and it took me well over a month to write this thing it's a long article and I did a lot of research for it and it's taken me a long time also I've been a sick and off and on throughout the month so it's taken me a long time to write the article and the important thing here is the important thing with Steemit is that you can join Steemit. Doesn't it's free to join? And when you join, what you can do is you can upvote and engage with me on Steemit. You can upvote my content. You can upvote Gamers Bay's content because Gamers Bay is also on Steemit. When you do that, we earn Steam currency, and that can go towards funding our projects towards you know upgrading our hardware so that we have a better camera and better lighting a uh, better computer for gaming and live stream videos and none of that money comes out of your wallet you don't have to put in your credit card number or use a paypal account at all it costs you zero dollars except for what it costs you to use your ISP and that will help us fund our projects now gamers bay is starting a patreon and if you want to give to that you can and we have a patreon area on the zort central discord server for those who give to the gamers bay Patreon and I may be I may open a Patreon for Zort Central in the future. So that's a way that you can help us out without it costing you anything, without you having to pay any money out. All you have to do is sign up for Steemit and comment on and upvote our content. That's all you have to do and it massively helps us because if we need better stuff in order to make videos for you guys in order to be able to keep doing what we're doing here and to be able to grow this channel now DTube is a part of the Steam ecosystem the Steam it ecosystem and they're a video service similar to YouTube, where again, you upload content and engage with the community and people upvote your videos 
you get paid in Steam cryptocurrency. Now I'm going to be starting a new video series there called The Zorch and Tigra Show. And we're going to be talking about video games, basically. Now it's going to be maybe a twice a month show. And it's going to be with me and Tigra. You know, you may know Tigra from my Elite Dangerous live streams. Well, he also does his own live streams. And I will put a link to his channel in the description below. He's been doing Elite Dangerous live streams just about every day. I'll be talking about that at length when we get to uh, when we get to the part of this video where I'm going to be going back into live streaming soon. But he's going to be doing the show with me there. And again, if you sign up for Steam, it you're automatically signed up for DTube. And when you do that, you can upload our content that will pay us in, in cryptocurrency, and that will help us fund our projects. And again, none of that comes out of your wallet. So you can massively help us that way. And so that's what I've been working on this entire month. I've been working on setting all that up. So I've got my Steam account activated. I've got uh, two stuff up there already. I've got the latest video that I did for Gamers Bay to start out on DTube just to, to try that out. And I've got that article and I'll be writing more articles in the future. And that's just a, a stepping stone towards, you know, improving monetization on the channel. And since YouTube has decided we're not important enough to pay. So we need to do something so that we can keep doing what we're doing here. Because we've been doing this for, Gamers Bay has been doing this for a long time. And hardly paid anything. And... I'm not paid anything and I like doing something here, but I would like to be able to afford to get new equipment so I can make better videos for you guys. Moving on, speaking of making better videos and making videos, I'm going to be getting back into producing videos for Zort Central. I'm going to start with the long awaited episode for Yurushi Yatsura in an old otaku. And I've been wanting to do this episode for a long time, talking about the show. It's a great older anime series. It is from Rumiko Takahashi. Uh, you may have heard of her. They call her the queen of manga for a reason. And so you'll, you'll learn a lot more about her in the video that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'll also be getting back to doing what's on Steam. And as for Chloe the Professor, I'm still I'm still figuring out what to do with that uh, with that show. The whole reason I started Chloe the Professor was because I wanted gamers to stop being sheep, start standing up for themselves against the predatory practices of companies like EA and Activision and and, and Ubisoft. Though well, Ubisoft has been cha has been changing lately. I'm, I'm rather impressed with Ubisoft somewhat. They still have more to go. But I've actually been somewhat impressed that Ubisoft is at least trying, whereas EA and Activision just don't care. And I also... Also... Uh, things that were said by CD Projekt Red have earned my undying loyalty. I do not pre-order games on principle. I was highly tempted to pre-order uh, Final Fantasy XV from Square Enix because <coughs> games from them is almost are almost gu always guaranteed to be good. Uh, the only games I ever pre-order from them are expansions to the Final Fantasy XIV MMO. Those are the only things that I, on principle, pre-order. Because I know that they're going to be good. So, I'm going to pre-order um, Cyberpunk 2077. Why? Because I want to support a company that actually gives a damn about the players that 
you know, understands that the predatory practices are harmful to the gaming industry. And I want to support a company that is willing to come out in public and actually say that. Because that's basically what they said. That those practices are hurting the gaming industry. But getting on, I, I'm not sure what to do with Chloe and the Professor now. Because gamers have found their voice. Battlefront 2 basically was the straw that broke the camel's back. I think the whole reason why I started the series is because I know I felt that all that the gamers needed was a push. And I know my little show here on YouTube probably didn't have any influence at all in doing it. But I needed to get the idea out there to push people to... Stop letting companies walk all over us. Stop letting EA and Activision and companies like them from walking all over us and just basically treating us like ATM machines and, and, and money presses. And that's why I made the show. And also, I made the show is to be somewhat educational as well but now that i'm getting involved in a lot of doing this other stuff and doing the show on dtube and my writing the articles i don't know what to do with the series now so there may not be any new chloe and the professor for a while until i figure out what to do with the show i'd like to continue it i liked working on it it was time consuming to produce it but i would like I need to figure out exactly what I want to do with it so I'll be and also I will be making more random thoughts videos and I will be using TigerCon's green screen for it Can, I've definitely got some ideas for future episodes of random thoughts definitely I mean that show exists for an important reason Sort of like Chloe and the Professor did, but the whole reason why I made Chloe and the Professor is sort of been made moot by the gaming community itself. Now, the last subject. I'm going to start Elite Dangerous live streams again. Um, maybe tomorrow, but probably not. What I will be doing is I'll be joining TigerCon on his live streams. And again, I said. There's a link in the description below to his channel so that you can watch the live streams there. You can also check the Gamers Bay community whenever he goes live. I also put it in the community there so you can check it out. But I have a new HOTAS. I have the Thrustmaster T16000. That is the top of the line entry level Thrustmaster um, HOTAS controller for Elite Dangerous and for um, flight sims. Most people use this for Elite Dangerous. And these are very niche devices. The, these, these cost me $99 for the stick and throttle. HOTAS stands for hands-on throttle and stick. So it has the throttle, it has the joystick, and it has functions that the older one I had from Satec didn't have. Now, I am losing a few things like the multiple um, the multiple hat switches that the Satec model had. I am losing that, but there was a lot of functionality on the Satec joystick that would not work without the Satec software, which doesn't work on Windows 10. This, this is a Windows XP era device. The, you could still use it on Windows 10, but the software that you needed to go along with it to really expand the functionality doesn't work. So, um, most of the controls were completely useless to me on it. So, I, I definitely needed this better HOTAS, and it, it was expensive for me. $99 is a lot out of my budget. 
but I needed it and I bought it and so I, now I have it and I'll be able to do live streams of Elite Dangerous again. And what I may do also, if I can, Tiger is going to be participating in the a Distant Worlds 2 event. That's a player driven event where they will be flying out to Beagle Point, which is the most distant star in the galaxy on the outer edge of the Milky Way. And when they come back, they'll be retracing the route of the USS Voyager from Star Trek Voyager. And it's going to be um, a multi-week event. And it's going to... It's a multi-week event. And there's going to be thousands of people involved in this event. Thousands of ships. Uh, it's, these events are, have, have been huge in the past. So I'm, I'm thinking of possibly joining them. If I can get, if I can get my ships done in time for the event which is going to take place later this year um that's going to happen after frontier development uh releases the engine releases the exploration update to beyond 3.0 beyond 3.0 just launched we've got the beginnings of it now and they're going to be releasing new stuff throughout the year and later in the year is going to be um improvements to exploration that they're going to be releasing they've already released the improved planetary textures which makes planets look way better and then they're going to be releasing in the exploration update new planetary surfaces that's going to make planets look really interesting and possibly even change some gameplay dynamics on planet surfaces so that's going to be really interesting um at least we i hope now fdev has been strange when it comes to their updates they lacking in a lot of content i mean if any of their past updates are any indication so we're, we're our fingers are crossed to see what uh, what they have to come up with this year but still, that's everything that's going on. That's why there hasn't been a lot of content on the channel. Um, and why um, you know, the content is going to be coming back again. I'm going to be producing videos again. But I'm not going to be producing as much. Because I'm, I'm, my attention is split between my channel here. My efforts on Steam it. As well as the videos I make for Gamers Bay, the an old gamer plays, which I've got to do another video on that soon. So, thanks for listening to me ramble. I've been Mike the Zorch. Keep gaming, and I'll see you guys next time.